The Knights of St. George have also had contact with Eris recently. She's holding a competition for a golden apple. Epic was compelled to participate. She told them that Overmaster Vlad and Dracula are also competing. We don't know who else is competing, but Eris said this is a game for immortals. She initially invited all of the knights, so I guess that's why she took Lee. If she invited all of the knights of St. George, why did she settle for Epic alone? She simply took Paladin without asking. The others declined the invitation because they didn't want to compete against each other. Epic agreed to compete because no one wants to imagine what Vlad or Dracula will do if they get the apple. Since she allowed the others to decline, she'll probably give Paladin a choice, but she'll convince him to compete just like Epic. I've managed to locate Paladin. He's in Australia, but we haven't tried to go to him yet. It's unlikely we will be able to. Eris will not welcome interference. Surely the Order of Merlin can find a way to stop this. Of course I will contact them as soon as we're done here. Okay, but wait. There's another crisis I need to let you all know about. I don't know if you've seen the news, but Wu Fang Chu has been assassinated. China has decided this is the best time to round up his followers and seize his territory. Unfortunately, China may have underestimated the size and power of Wu's organization. This is likely to throw China into a civil war. Mr. Argent, I'm almost scared to ask, but why do we need to know this? Remember, the reason Aisho approved the creation of this team is that your teleporter allows you to be deployed anywhere you're needed. This is not a normal civil war. The Jade Empire is a criminal organization, and a civil war in China will affect the whole world. I'm sorry, but before this is over, you may be sent to China. Mr. Arjun is calling. contest. When it's over, the winner will become a god. Look around and see who's here. This is your competition. Some of you have met before. It's like a warm family reunion. I know most of you aren't the sentimental types, but it's still like my family reunions. What you all want to know is how to win, right? Tradition dictates a battle to the death, the prize going to the last man standing. But I know modern superheroes in Bigfoot don't want to kill anyone, so I'll accept a 10 second knockout. But of course some of you guys really, really don't like each other, so if you just happen to kill each other, it's not against the rules. Personally, I like the knockout rule. It makes things easier because some of you are really hard to kill. You know that? So anyway, I picked a big battle zone around Uluru and the little town of uh, Mutitjulu here in Australia. You don't have to stay in the battle zone the whole time, except for you, Shady. The rest of you are free to come and go as you like. Go home and rest, get stuff you need, invite your friends to help, the more the merrier. But no fighting out of bounds, and you don't want to stay out of the battle zone for too long, because if you stay away more than 12 hours, I'll turn you into a fish. Excuse me, ma'am. If I leave and come back, how long do I have to stay before I can leave again? I, I don't want to be a fish. Excellent question. But thanks, Mr. Uh, I, I'm sorry, what's your name? Wu Fang Chu. I'm Paladin. You are most polite. I will try to knock you out without chilling. 
thank you. I, I don't want to kill anyone. You killed me without any problem. Do you know how much it hurts to burn up in the sunlight? You're the king of vampires. You've killed thousands of people. And you didn't stay dead anyway. Yeah, Drac, you sound kind of petty right now. Really, really hurt a lot. I hope I can capture him first, but kill him last. Are you done? You didn't answer Paladin's question. Yeah, I don't want to be a fish either. Hey, if I get turned back into a fish, can I be a shark this time? I want to be a vampire or if you sin finalis. That's not even a fish, it's a squid! Oh, I wanted to be a whale. I wanted to be a merman. It's a goldfish! Anyone who gets turned into a fish is a goldfish! Oh! But you still didn't answer the question. I wanted to be an African tiger fish. Sometimes I just want to give up being a goddess and become a Christian like Asclepius. Twelve hours! You stay twelve hours, you can come home for twelve hours, okay? Gee, that's worse than a full-time job. Can we get weekends or holidays? No, you idiots! This isn't just a job! It's a chance to become a god! Everyone just go home and get ready. I'll bring you back in 12 hours. Oh yeah, you. Fine, the contest starts in 12 hours. You can go home and get some of your ninja friends to help. So, if they go to help you, can they come back if I need them, or will they turn into fish? I forgot to ask. Alright, I'm going to send you to Crusader's Castle in Technopolis so you can talk to Epic. And Last Crusader? Yes, you'll probably be part of the conversation. I know the rest of you don't want to miss this, so yes, you can all go. Take Kitty with you and keep an eye on her. When Dr. Weird gets back from England, I'll send him after you. The city of Technopolis, where the Knights of St. George are gathered at Crusader's Castle to discuss this developing situation. Hello, which one of you is Paladin? I'm Paladin. It's good to meet you. Epic told me you killed Dracula. We all did it together. Great. You know, Last Crusader killed him a few centuries ago. So did Ben Helsing. Overmaster Vlad killed him a few decades ago. Well, come on inside. They're waiting for us. Hey, Paladin, this castle looks just like the one in your dreamlands. I know, I had a Crusader's Castle playset when I was little. Hey, Paladin, I want to apologize to you for this whole situation. I'm the one who woke Eris up from her 2,000-year sleep. What? It was a hundred years ago. You see, I'm a descendant of Zeus, and for generations my family was plagued by furies demanding we punish Apollo and the other young gods for turning on Zeus. They turned on Zeus? Yes, just like Zeus and his generation overthrew the Titans, Apollo and the younger gods overthrew them. After that, they hibernated for 2,000 years. The Furies wanted me to murder them all in their sleep, but I woke them up instead. Apollo destroyed the Furies and rewarded me by giving me superpowers. I don't think any of this is your fault. I'm glad you didn't murder anyone in their sleep. And Eris is the only one responsible for what she does. I told him the same thing, but he can't help how he feels. We're not here to blame anyone. Let's figure out what we're going to do to keep that apple from ending up in the wrong hands. Well, it seems pretty obvious to me what we have to do. Eris said the contestants could bring their friends. Let's all go there and win this for Epic. We can't do that. We just found out that a civil war has broken out in China, and we may have to go there. Mr. Argent isn't going to like it if we all take off and get stuck in Australia. I sure hope he wouldn't send us to China without Paladin. 
We can't assume that without talking to him. Why would Mr. Argent even send you here if you can't help? He didn't. He sent Paladin and gave us permission to tag along so we could see this place and meet you guys. So you're just Paladin's pals? I guess so. That's wrong! You're not just some kids that hang around with me. You're my team. Swansong, Billy, you're a lot more experienced than I am. Charlie, you're a lot smarter than I am. I need you guys. I can't be a superhero without you. And if Mr. Argent gives you any trouble, just call us and I'll set him straight. Listen, guys, I understand how you all feel, and I really do appreciate it. But I think we're just playing into Eris' hands. Gathering a virtual army to go fight for the Apple is just what she wants us to do. It's what Vlad is going to do. I know. And right now, I don't have a better plan. But we have to think of something. We can't just let Eris manipulate us. I have an idea. Goodbye!